Karen Wagner. I'm 80. I hardly can believe it myself. You're calling this the art of aging. To me, I mean, I don't look at it that way. I think it's more like the journey or the trip. And, you know, uh, you can look forward, you can make some plans, but you also better prepared to be on un- you know, de- deal with unexpectedness. I grew up in eastern Washington and uh, in little towns mostly, uh, up by Okanagan. I, I graduated from Wenatchee High School and then I got married. So I got married when I was 18. So maybe uh, it's kind of surprising maybe that uh, some of the other things I did in my life. My oldest child, a, a boy, a, drowned when he was 16. So that was my first um, major loss. And I think it prompted uh, a lot of a sort of a big change in my life generally. And uh, in pro- in the next, I don't know, in the next couple of years after his death, um, I changed my sexual orientation. I changed my job. I started a school. Uh, you know, I was like, I sort of think that it's like the message to me was anything can happen any day. And so you better get on with what you want to do. So Billy and I were teaching at a private school in Seattle. And then we got ourselves in trouble for shoot, for being too talk, talkative, I think. And anyway, so we left and started a primary school. And I look back now and I think, oh my God, how did we do that? Doing the school and go, being so active with the kids for the, you know, the 80s and the 90s, I think that kept me young. Every day was a new day, and every day was active, really active. I did it for 27 years before I uh, stopped. Whether I act with boldness or whatever, my mom would probably would have said at sometimes with foolhardiness. We go up to Canada a lot. We have a vacation house on Saturna Island. And um, they have volunteer um, medic people, just volunteers on the island. But anyway, I was just sitting at the table. I got up, and one side was, like, not working, like (laughs) my arm and leg. And so Sheila called, and um, inside of five minutes... The guy from down the road was at the house. He was there checking me out. And then here comes another guy who's one of the medics on his backhoe. He'd been working and he parks in the driveway. I say, just put me in the basket, you know, and run me down to the doctor. (laughs) I went went to one of the ball games over here, the Bells or whatever they are. It was the first one I'd ever been to. And I was sitting there and I passed right out. I mean, I just passed out sitting on those concrete steps and they uh, hauled me off to the hospital. I was worried about that because that kept kind of happening, although usually I didn't completely pass out. But then I was in the hospital for another thing. I was getting ready to leave and Sheila was there and I said, you know, I just had one of these fades. So the surgeon is talking to me, says, you know, I think you need the pacemaker. And that seemed to me extreme. I mean, really? I mean, I've been getting along all right with these fades. And he said, well, you can continue to walk on the precipice if you want. (laughs) So I just stayed in and had the pacemaker put in the next day. And I haven't had any fades since then. I think of elderly as infirm. And I don't want to be infirm. I I cannot run upstairs anymore. 
I mean, I have to walk. Um, and uh, no, I still, even I do gentle yoga with Denise. I don't feel old when I do that. Um, no, I don't think I feel old. An elder, I, th I think of what I think of elder, I think somebody that has some respect. And I feel like uh, I get that from my daughters and my grand, my three grandkids. Uh, and so I like that. I, I, I think they honor me as a, a person who has grown older uh, gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> and with Pep, and uh, they still like my daughters and I go on trips together, you know. We went to Nashville for my birthday, for my 79th birthday, and we went dancing, and we just had the greatest time. We, we squeezed it in between the tornado and the start of the shutdown. We made it in there in that little gap, and we just had a great time. It was living joyfully.